the problem with those two industries is that they are like zero failure rate, right? Like you cannot fail at those. And you even saw Anthropics lawyers. I'm sure you 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 follow this Stephanie closely. Like Anthropics lawyers actually like were embarrassed in court because they used AI to do a legal briefing and they and they it hallucinated and made up case law, which they actually filed with the court. I mean. And I don't see, I don't know, I'd love to know your thoughts on this, Stephanie, but I don't see that problem, like, that, you know, there's that that sort of, like, last, I don't know, 5 or 1%, whatever it is, of, like, getting these models to be predictable being solved, like, anytime soon. Stephanie, what do you think of that? I think that's, I think that's, that's very true. I think that's why, you know, AI has been... Um, picked up so much faster in areas like customer, customer support where, you know, what you're doing isn't exactly life or death. But yeah, if, if you know, you accidentally put a made-up case <laughs> in a brief, that's super embarrassing, not to mention right. what might happen if you have, you know, something wrong in, in the healthcare sector. I mean, that could actually be life or death. So yeah, right. I think it's it's easy, as you said, to get to like 90 or 95%, but that last 5 to 10% is really what makes all the difference. 